what do you focus on when you're like doing character development and like fitting other characters to the main character? Uh, good question. You know, I, so I have this theory about teenagers. And the theory is that teenagers are, like, we, we speak about young people in this really, and as, when I say we, I mean adults, in this really strange, dismissive way, right? And we say, we ask questions that I think are dismissive and are uh, limiting and are unfair a lot of times. One of the questions that I really can't stand is, what do you want to be when you grow up, right? I think it's such a silly thing to ask. I understand the root of that question, but I think a better question is, what do you want to be like right now? Who do you want to be today? Right? And, and better yet, who are you today? Because who you are at 15, at 16, is whole, right? It's a whole 16-year-old, right? It's a whole 15-year-old, right? And I think we, we talk about teenage life as if it's like, uh, it's like, oh, you're almost there. You're not quite whole yet, but you will be when you're 20. And when you get 20 and you're like, oh, you will be when you're like 25. Oh, wait till you get to 30. Then you really figure out how to be a whole person. When the truth is, you're whole in every single part of the, every, every single step. And so my job is when, when I'm writing these characters and when I'm adding the secondary and tertiary characters to sort of figure out how to um, fortify the, the protagonist, it's all about making sure that every single character is 100%. Every single character is a whole person, which means every single character has to have struggle and every single character has to laugh, right? Every character has to cry and they have to laugh, all of them. They all have to have trouble and they all have to have triumph. I've never met a teenager who's had a hard life who, who, that was so hard that he or she did not laugh, ever. I've never known a young person who didn't find, uh, who didn't find humor in hardship, ever. Right? And there's so much to learn from that. And I think sometimes we're like, man, it's either young people, all they want to do is, is laugh and not pay attention to anything important, or young people, all they are is doomed. And it's a strange thing when the reality is that almost everybody I've ever met is somewhere in that sweet spot where it's like, man, I'm not sure if, like, I've got my issues and life is tough and there's family stuff and there's my mom yelling to me, like, yelling at me about social media and the dangers of it and school is hard and I'm being bullied in school and I got this going on and that going on. And then that same kid is like, but when I get around my friends, all we do is laugh and we joke and we read Harry Potter or we go to the basketball court or we do each other's hair or we tease our little brothers and all this other, that, that part of your life is just as important. And so I think about all of that for every single character that seems like they don't matter, but the truth is that it's in their wholeness that the protagonist becomes more whole, right? They are the ones feeding the protagonist to make sure the protagonist is fortified and buttressed to be an actual person. Everybody around them matters, matters in order for that to be the case. 